Hey there, YouTube. Jack Allaire here. Just letting you guys know that I have had a fantastic weekend above and beyond how cool I thought it was already going to be. You know that my Xbox was kind of dying. Well, it was dying. It was only surviving about half an hour uh, at a time. And my nephew had his Xbox sitting in a box in the closet doing nothing. So he decided to pass it on to me. Now, I was not prepared for the box of stuff that he was about to give me and, and dive into the box because it's really nice. Started out with, of course, the Xbox itself. And that alone would have been worth the drive. And it was really nice to get to hang out with him again. Uh, got to hang out, talk some. Power cable, array, AV cable. When I first opened the box, it's this little thing. I don't know if you can make out any of that. But I had no clue what this goofy thing was until I noticed the Mad Cats. And that's a wireless controller. Which is oh, so nice. So nice. Two normal controllers. So I think I now have four wired controllers and one wireless. So that's very nice. Now as to the games, and I'll go through these because I've got them uh, in alphabetical order. Got Dance Dance Revolution, Ultramix 2. Dance Dance Revolution Ultramix 3. Fable, Lost Chapters, Platinum Hits. A little chewed up on the end, but grabbed by the Ghoulies, which is just a great game. And I now don't have to open my uh, sealed box. Halo, Combat Evolved, Platinum Hits. A game that I have been sadly neglecting for a long time, uh, Jade Empire Collector's Edition. And yes, I know these have stickers all over them. I'll clean them at work tomorrow um, when I have downtime. Um, a game that I'm not sure if I ever played or not, Magic the Gathering Battlegrounds. I don't remember if this is the, this looks kind of like the gauntlety one. Medal of Honor European Assault. Which is very nice. Medal of Honor Rising Sun. Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Which if I remember right... Uh, yes, this is the completely silly one that has racing minigames and all kinds of other stuff. NASCAR 06. Total Team Control. Finally a reason to pick up the Xbox wheel. NHL Rivals, 2004, Simpsons, Road Ridge, a game that I love, 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 Thief, Deadly Shadows, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six 3, Tony Hawk Underground 2, which if I remember is one of the better Tony Hawk Undergrounds, and a game that I remember, but I don't remember why I remember it. But looking at the front, I think I really should, is whacked. Which it looks pretty whacked. So uh that's all that came in the box for the low low price of free. Also, he gave me two Xbox dance pads and three PlayStation dance pads. His 360 died again, so, because they do that. And I gave him mine, and he figured turnabout was fair play, and I was like, all right, well, you know, okay. Because he wasn't playing it anyways. So, uh, uh, we finished up there, and then we decided to stop by, uh, my sons and I stopped by a little resale 
stop on the way home and picked up a few things. Only picked up three things. Uh, and they're all PlayStation 1 games. Because my son loves Spyro. And the, the instruction booklet's missing. But you can make that out that it is Spyro the Dragon. So this has a lovely little phone number on there. And an address. So I now know where to go when looking for more. And this is a game called Omega Boost. And the instruction booklet is missing the front cover. Don't know if you can see that, but Battle Arena Toshinden 2. He has been looking for this game. He said, I believe he said for quite a few months, and I got it for $1.49. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Buck 49. Having a great weekend. After that, my son and I decided to venture out again because we were still kind of bored, nothing to do. Uh, my wife was off planning a baby shower for one of our friends. And I stumbled across and 99 cents wanting it once again. Family Connection, a guide to lifespan. Demonstration disc for educational unit only, not for retail sale. No clue what this is about. One of the greatest finds I've had and kind of the weirdest serendipity wise. Now we had driven by this yard sale two or three times I think that day. And my son and I had never thought to stop. We're driving by like the last time just to go out and grab something and come back home. And he looks over and says, hey dad, they have video games. Now if you can see video games at a yard sale from a moving car, they have a lot of video games. But I will save the price for once I show you everything that's in this box. This box right here. Now let me start out with the controllers. Okay, this ASCII pad for the Genesis little wires a little messed up don't mind that no problem easily fixed interact PlayStation controller PlayStation 1 which I have one collecting PlayStation 1 games a normal PlayStation 1 controller and not one but two Sega Saturn controllers now one of these will be going to my friend Tanner you can pick which one. The other one I'm going to hang on to just because I'm slowly collecting a Saturn piece by piece. I have games for it. I have a controller. Now all I need is a system, AV cable, power cord. And then I'll actually be able to play. Genesis stuff that I picked up. But this fun little thing, which is the Sega Genesis cleaning system. Game Genie for the Genesis. Third copy, Sonic the Hedgehog. So if anybody needs one of these, just drop me a line. Send me a PM. I'll... This game is kind of a crime because I used to follow football back then. But this is NFL Football 94 starring Joe Montana. And sadly, Joe Montana is what he was with the Chiefs, not when he was with the 49ers. Uh, Green Dog, the beached surfer dude. No clue. No clue at all. I got this whole box for one price. Didn't haggle. Wasn't even going to start. Toe Jam and Earl. Got it home, opened it up. Wah, wah. Sonic the Hedgehog 3. This is the one that I was not okay with. Streets of Rage. Huh? Everybody remember Streets of Rage? Streets of Rage, really great game. 
and we open it up. And for those of you who don't know, that's Dick Tracy. This is kind of like hiding a turd inside a cake with like nice frosting. This is amazing. The whole reason we stopped was that we could see the Super Nintendo cartridges from the street. So we saw Super Mario World times two. Contra 3, Alien Wars, which I've played before. Good game. Good game. Super Bonk, which I haven't ever played Bonk. Oh, Super Bonk. I played Bonk on the Turbo Graphic 16 when I had one. This one took me back a ways. Cool spot. Which it took my wife a little while to identify, but it's the used to be the 7-Up mascot. Doomsday Warrior. Doomsday Warrior. Doomsday! Um, now this one kind of threw me. Because all I saw was that. Tournament Fighters. And I looked at it, and I'm like, I don't remember Tournament Fighters. What, what's Tournament Fighters? But at the time, wasn't going to complain. I was just grabbing and getting it out. But it's actually Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, Yay! Super Mario All-Stars. Final Fantasy IX. Complete. All the discs in there. Um, no cover, but Monster Rancher 2. The Rally 2. Need for Speed. Tekken 3. Greatest Hitch version. Don't care, though. This one threw me. Uh, just Metal 4. But, you open it up, and it's actually Grand Theft Auto. All of that, all of that, five PS1 games, eight Super Nintendo games, seven Genesis games and accessories, and five controllers, all for $15. I believe I heard some of you scream.